All right, what the, what the shit is this? All right, welcome to my new video of what is the revamp of Diablo 2. So I don't know if anyone's been following this, but me in Excel uh, is basically been a mod that's been going on for Diablo 2 for a little bit, and they finally released their Sigma or version one, patch notes one, which basically means that Diablo 2 is pretty much the dopest game ever again, all over again. So let's just have a quick look of what this actually is. So, all right, the most popular Diablo 2 overhaul modification. So it is a overhaul modification um, with extensive end game content. Now, when I talk about extensive end game content, I actually mean this mod is basically a Path of Exile revamp for Diablo 2. It's fucking awesome. I love Diablo 2. I had my, was it my Whirlwind Barbarian back in the day, and it was just the sickest game ever. I remember spending so many hours playing Diablo 2. Anyway, Diablo 2 I would put down as probably my most favorite game of all time. And that's why when Diablo 3 came out, I was pretty pissed off because Diablo 3, 3 is essentially a steaming pile of shit. Anyway, all right, so this mod pretty much sets out to achieve um, a whole bunch of new items, uh, new skills for all classes, and multiple improvements to the Diablo 2 engine. They've basically rebuilt the Diablo 2, whatever, the sprite engine they used or whatnot. So if we just have a look on the web page, and I'll put this link in the uh, description as well. Um, they've got all new revamped skills. So there's, what have we got, Tremor. I just hopped in quickly and there's like some earthquake thing for the barbarian which I'll load up and I'll show you shortly um dragon I don't even know what that is these are buffs and all sorts of ridiculous shit there's it, there's probably crazy ass shit in here uh thousands of new items so there's a whole bunch of new items that they've redesigned um end game questing now so for whatever reason they've added Asmodan into <laughs> Diablo 2 which is fucking awesome um, but basically it will have an exclusive end game. It, it'll have, it'll have a robust end game is what I should say. So it'll be really good. Uh, new areas to discover. So I don't quite know what this is. I had a look, the quest log system still the same, but we may be able to map in this game, like in Path of Exile. Uh, there's new crafting mats. There's all sorts of shit that I've never seen before in Diablo 2 and I played the shit out of Diablo 2. So we'll find out I'll be streaming on Twitch and I'll be playing this and uploading content on this for a little bit quality of life so now there's automatic automated pickup for gold like in Diablo 3 there's what else have we got here um, yeah so spawning's improved and the best thing of all there is loot filtering and they've increased the resolution so it doesn't go all pixelated and expand out like it used to when you try to do full screen on Diablo 2. It actually has a proper 1080p resolution, though it's still, based on sprites, it's pretty fucking good. Um, oh, and better inventory management and a lot more inventory space because you can have a lot of fucking inventory in this game. And it may have a robust online community, which we'll find out the more that we actually play this game. But that's just the basic sort of overview. Like we've got the version log here, which I won't go into like crazy, crazy months now. Max, max level cap is 150 now, so it's just ridiculous. Uh, end game zones, like that's new. Rifts and dungeons have been added to the game. Um, <laughs> level 100, so you level up a lot quicker by the looks as well. Uh, no huge level, ex level experience gaps. Uh, sacred, so there's like sacred unique items. It's just the, added so much to this. Like, I don't even know what signets are. What are signets? I don't know. New gold currency. What's this? I don't even know what this stuff... Like, this is going to be awesome, figuring out this game all over again. I can't wait. So, there'll be, like, new bosses and whatever, which looks like that. Areas. 
So they look like it looks like they've just basically redesigned Diablo. Challenges, uh, rips and dungeons, boss events. Like some quests will have the entrance lock. For, so apparently there is world events essentially. Nephilim rifts. Yep, so there's maps. There's basically maps. High heavens. I don't know why they've got the high heavens in there, but it's in there. They've basically redesigned Diablo 3 content as well. So basically mashed in Diablo 3 and Path of Exile into Diablo 2. Because let's be honest, Diablo 2 was what started all of the APG, ARPG uh, craze. Well, Diablo 1, but Diablo 2 just did it amazingly. Dungeons, what? Realm of Lot, like this is just fucking crazy. And now we go into like the classes. Um, Paladin, Sorcerer. Item, item only skills. So that's like Death's Oath and Path of Exile. There's so much, there's so much, but there's so much, con like, world drops, what's this, general, T you need, like, this is just nuts, there's set items again, runes, cumulate, cube recipes, I don't even know what's showing, what the fuck is showing craft, rare affix pool, <laughs> mystic ore, what the fuck is this, this is all new, alright, let's load this up, anyway, alright, so to get this, if you go to the Media and Excel website, you need to have a copy of Diablo 2 and, uh, the, I think it's Throne of Destruction, um, which is the expansion. I think it's called Throne of Destruction. I can never remember. Lord of Destruction. Lord of Destruction. So you've got to have a copy of that. Um, basically, you go to Media and Excel webpage, which I'll put in the um, description, and you download this. And it'll automatically locate it as long as you've got your Diablo 2 installed already. What I'd probably suggest is if you've got old versions of Diablo 2 on disk, don't go and buy new versions. What you can do is go into the Blizzard, um, I think it's the key activation thing, if you go into the Blizzard website, and you can go register your key against your Blizzard account, which means that you can always download and get that key back online. That would be the easiest way to do it if you're using, um, it, it just, just to do it in general. Um, but, and then basically once you've done that, you can download this mod and then it'll install. And then once you've installed it, Let's just open this up from scratch. So it will come up like a proper black game client. So they have a Discord. Right now I'm noticing there's some audio issues, which is probably because of the changes they've made to the engine. So when you kill things, it doesn't make sounds or anything like that yet. But honestly, you turn that shit off if you're farming and grinding for hours and hours on it anyway. So cause it'll, get, it'll just be mundane and you listen to music. Um, so, right now, if we open this, I've got this set to full screen. Just a note as well, before you go in, make sure you've got uh, 3D FX Glide uh, turned on. Now you can run the game in window mode, it'll come up in like a box fashion here. I wouldn't suggest doing that, let it run full screen because it's borderless with, um, windowed with borderless, if it run, uh, full screen windowed borderless, if it runs like this which is what you want, especially if you're streaming this shit. Now, I don't know if this is going to bump my recording out or anything like that, but I guess we'll see. So then we hit play. And then I'll do it shit. So it does some weird, like, because obviously it's a respect of an older engine. It'll do some weird number shit in the corner. It'll freeze my camera. This is really weird. So... That's so weird. I don't know how they've done this, but right now this is actually full screen for me. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, there's some significant changes as far as this. Um, this is actually probably a scaled up resolution. So we'll just double, sit, double check, because I haven't tested this on, on cam yet. So we'll see if this comes up. Nah, so it doesn't come up full screen. Alright, let's try something different here. Let's 
So if we go in and we change that setting around, let's run it in window mode for now for the purpose of showing still in this thing. All right, this looks more promising. There we go. So we'll change it there. What, what's going on? something to do with having the direct 3D, draw 3D on. So we can get this working so you guys can see what we're doing. We will put it back to this setting, which will run it in a window mode. This just simplifies how it runs a little bit. That's a bit better. All right, let's move this over so that Margley might get some blocking on the screen. All right, so as you can see now, if you were running this without a stream setting or anything like that, that music can be a bit annoying, but it's Diablo 2, so who cares? If you're running this without stream settings and things like that, then you can run this full screen perfectly. There's no issues. For the purpose of like, showing content, what I'll probably do is add in some edit bars and do a skin for this and overlay and whatever other shit, but that's something for me to worry about later down the track. Um, Alright, so I created a test character because I wanted to test this, but if we have a look, like we can see there's a new home screen menu. Cinematics, of, I don't know what the go is there. Multiplayer, I think we go to Sin War. Yeah, I'll, have, I'll log that in later. But you just use your Battle.net ID. Um, so single player, uh, I've created a new test character, which is a Barbarian. I always play Barbarian first in Diablo 2 because fuck every other character, Barbarian's the greatest. And people might not like me saying that, but you know what? I don't care. Barbarian's fucking awesome. So let's have a look. All right. So as you can see, first thing we can see is the resolution has definitely been scaled up. Also, I almost died somehow. I've got regen too. I don't know why I got that. So, as you can see, there's new effects. Like, I just hit a health pot and see I've got that, like, blowy effect on me. We still have waypoints, which is great, but all this is looks like it's been redesigned and prettied up. Also, I don't remember this having, like, this orb effect either. I'm pretty sure it was just red or blue. Um, the other thing to look at, I don't know what that is. It's some sort of spirit meter. Um, but... The music's still there too, which is great. So see, as you can see, I can't see, I can't necessarily see the um, hear the, the sound coming out of this, but you know this is still satisfying as all shit. Sort of hear a bit of a bit of sound. So alt to do that. Uh, control is run like it's one of the few RPGs with a proper run function, which is just mental. Uh, what else have we got? So we'll just kill some enemies. So we can see there's, you know, loot filtering. The original game had a pretty decent system for that. But anyway, so let's just go back to the town and have a look at some of the other features. Oh, that's the spirit, uh, that's the address, um, the stamina meter. That's what that is. So that's stamina, so that's change. All right, so we've got some new menu items down here. This is all still relatively the same. Uh, so we have a look at character, it looks much prettier than what it used to. They've redesigned all the sprites and everything. I'm just going to pop points into strength because I'm a barbarian. Um, as you can see, the statistic details are much easier to follow than we are. They still have that fucked up, like when it says 5, it still looks like a 6 because of the <laughs> game engine, which is always fucked up my head with this game, but whatever. Um, so you can, you can see all this stuff is here, um, you know, it still levels up like it used to, um, it looks very Path of exile to be honest with you. Um, inventory is completely different, I don't even know what that is, oh, it's an Amazon only item, that looks new. Um, bucklers, you know, let's chuck some gear on, boots, you know, 
uh, a big ass axe. Maybe we'll go one handed with a shield. Anyway, it's very, you know, boilerplate. You know, you can switch to secondary weapon or whatnot. There's your gold. I don't want to drop my gold because I've just started. I've got a long way to go. Ooh, one to all experience of that. That'll make it quicker. Um, I don't know what the signets apparently that gave me 1600 gold, 1500 gold. That's great. Uh, you get a Herodric cube from the very start, so I don't know how that quest line works, but I might do like a full playthrough of the um, of the story quest and whatnot. But I'll I'll upload that as I go. Um, I'm not going to start that today. I'm just going to have a chill Saturday, but I wanted to upload this video. Uh, so I don't know what the did that put it in that no I don't know what that did I think it used it so there's a little bit of a I don't know that might be the pots that I've already got here fuck no they have really expanded the uh, the stash inventory you can farm for days on this now tab will still be the map so the stash is inside a house now by the looks there we go so huge huge stash um there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of life, you know, quality of life changes. Uh, skill tree is completely different. So, like, if we go into just the out zone, I'll show you what skill I'm currently using. So, let's just find an enemy. So, that's Earthquake. Like, that, that you get that at level, like, you know, from the start, which is just crazy. Like these skills look fucking insane. Um, so that's Earthquake. Uh, quest log just looks a little bit prettier. I think this used to be in like black and white or whatever. Now it's got like proper quest log, which is pretty cool. The Den of Evil is still here. I was in it before. It's satisfying. Um, what else we got? So find my cursor. Auto map, which is tab. Uh, reveal map, I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, you can see the entire map. I don't know. I don't know. I, that's so satisfying. Um, message log, that's just, you know, normal chatter, and game menu. Preferences, you've got, like, you can remap everything, which is great. Um, graphics is pretty standard. Gameplay volume, I don't know, I think there's something going on with how they've done that. I'm waiting for some patch notes to come out. Um, some, some hot fixes and shit. Uh, there's a few details. Entering new area, there's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Like, um, you know, if we look at skills, uh, where's our skills? Skill tree is T again. Like we've got storm blast. It, it's you know wind form. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Daedalus. I can't put any point, more points into that. Uh, iron vortex of blades shreds the enemy. I don't know what that is like. And from the very get go, you can like summon spirits and all other sorts of shit. It, it, it's a really, really cool rework of one of the greatest games. So, you know, you can wolf stance, you, you can get mountain king, you get passives and stances and shit like that. Like, warp. <laughs> like, like you, you've got spirit walk there. You, you know, what heavens, and heavens used to do in D2 all the time when you were doing bow runs. Like, you can do that. Uh, rewards, I'm assuming, are buffs on yourself so you know if you wanted to play ranged barbarian and throw knives and axes you could do that now um, nephilim spirit like there's a lot of concepts and take homes here from diablo 3 and uh, path of exile which is great um anyway so pretty much to sum this video up because we're pretty much at the 20 minute point uh download this i'm going to start doing content for this game this is great I'll be I'll be completely honest with you. I've been waiting for Diablo 2 to get a remaster from um, you know Blizzard for a long time, and they're just simply not going to do it. Um, you know, with their fucking mobile game, whatever. I can pretty much guarantee that I will not be playing the mobile game. I'll be playing this. Um, 
you know, for an older game, you're going to have to get over the fact that, yeah, it's still very sprite-based, you know, the graphics are not, you know, let's be honest, what, it's a 15, 20-year-old, and it, it's, 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 it's not 20 years, it's, it's not a new game. But, you know, if you're into the nostalgia of Diablo 2, and, you know, maybe you're just tired of PoE, like, I've played nearly 1,800 hours of PoE, and I love Path of Exile. But, you know, sometimes you get burnt out. And like, even right now, my, my death my death aura characters keep me going in the game and whatnot. But I tell you what, this is a great game that, you know, you're just going to pick up and run with and you're just going to love it. And, you know, you get, it's going to remind you of so much. There's so much new content. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm excited to play this. Like, <laughs> like this is going to be great. But, um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll probably upload more content like this. Um, I'll do commentary for Diablo 2. I'll actually get my online account for this setup, um, re, uh, re-logged in again on the client and probably start a, a stream later, either today or over the next day or so, um, and then stream on the uh, weekends. But I'll, I'll upload some other guides and uh, you know how to set up and how to play and blah, 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 as I start to learn a bit more about this game um, and I'm, I'll still do PoE content and stuff like that but this is just fucking awesome like this just brings back so many good memories um, anyway if you like this content I know this video has been a little bit long just to go through the introduction to Diablo 2 Media and Excel um, version 1 Sigma um, if you like this content like and subscribe um, I'm trying to figure out what works on this channel and what doesn't work. So feedback is good. I know my mic isn't great. I've got to get a better mic. Right now I'm using my webcam mic, which is pretty dog shit. Um, but yeah, if you like this stuff, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, until next time.